Hey everyone, welcome back to AIverse. In today's video, we are taking a look at the new Mocha model. Mocha is a truly impressive video character AI model that's rapidly pushing the boundaries of what's possible in terms of character replacement and video generation. It's generating a lot of buzz, and for good reason. So what exactly is Mocha, and what can it actually do? Mocha takes a source video clip and a mask frame, typically the first frame, along with a reference image of the desired new character. It then intelligently analyzes the source video and using the provided information, seamlessly replaces the original character with the new one, all while attempting to realistically preserve the nuances of the original performance. Mocha is designed to handle complex elements such as lighting variations, subtle facial expressions, realistic body motion, and even changes in perspective. It's similar in some ways to other AI video tools like Wan Animate, but with a unique approach. What really makes Mocha stand out from the crowd is that it doesn't require a per frame mask or any other information for each individual frame of the video. All it needs is that initial mask from the first frame and a reference image of the character you want to insert. This drastically simplifies the process and makes it significantly more efficient than traditional rotoscoping or other frame-by-frame -frame techniques. If you navigate to the project page, you can find several examples showcasing Mocha's capabilities. You'll see demonstrations of characters being seamlessly swapped in and out of various video scenes with surprisingly convincing results. Of course, like any AI model, Mocha isn't perfect and has its limitations. It's important to understand these limitations to set realistic expectations. One limitation stems from its reliance on just the first frame mask and reference images. Because it doesn't analyze each frame individually, the resulting video can sometimes exhibit artifacts. For example, the character's limbs might not always be perfectly rendered, or their movements might appear slightly unnatural in certain situations. In my own testing, I've also noticed that the faces generated by Mocha tend to have a somewhat cartoonish or animish quality. So Kijai has converted into FP8 model, which you can download it from here, which can improve performance. You can find instructions on how to install and implement these optimizations on the project's website or community forums. Let's take a look at the workflow in a bit more detail. Here, you can see the LoRa integration, and here we have the WAN 2.1 Mocha 14B model loaded. It's important to remember that what we're using right now is just a preview model. It's not the full, production-ready version of Mocha. I suspect that when the full model is released, its performance and capabilities will be significantly improved. As you can see here, we have block swapped 40 inches this configuration. This indicates that it is a relatively large model and requires a significant amount of memory and processing power. If you don't have a powerful enough GPU, you might encounter performance issues or even be unable to run the model at all. In this example, we're using six sampling steps, a five shift value, and the DPM++ SDE sampler. Over here is where you would input the reference video. This is the video that we are going to use for the character replacement. These are the available model lists, which you can easily access by clicking on the appropriate options in the user interface. And here's where you can upload your reference images. Mocha allows you to upload two reference images giving you more flexibility in defining the appearance of the new character. We'll test out this configuration. And over here, as you can see, this is the video that we obtained as a result of the character replacement process. As I mentioned earlier, you can see that the face has a slightly cartoonish quality. However, overall, the character's motions are surprisingly accurate and well executed. The AI seems to have done a good job of mapping the movements of the original actor onto the new character. So, over here, this is the first image that we took as the mask. And this is the second image. We'll use two images and see what the outcome will be. And this is the result. Everything else is the same. I have even written cartoon or anime in the negative section, negative prompt. And this is the video. I think the motion is very good, 
but the realistic face aspect is a bit not up to par with Van Animate. If I had to compare both of them, the motions are very good. So as you can see, we are using, we'll use this image speed. So over here, Kaja has given us some rules how to use the reference image too. So you can use the face image for better quality if you wanna use it. So as you can see, you just, this point editor, you just have to do one frame and point it out. Not like the van animate 2.2. So over here, I'm trying to use 20 block swaps, just like the normal one, which will use higher VRAM. And we're using the same, and this one looks pretty good. So it's the same green t-shirt, the sweatshirt, uh, the hair is the same, everything. The motion is also very good. Let's take one more example. I'll just change the width and the height for the video. So we'll run this one right here. And in the point editor, you have to choose which one you wanna edit in the green circles and in the red, which you don't want. So we're gonna use speed again. And as you can see, there's speed. So this is just normal video. It's not doing much motion or anything. Okay, so let's take another image. Sorry, video and keep speed the same, okay? And I've done block swap 20. I think block swap 20 gives you better results, way better results in my testing. So if you wanna use, you can use 20, but if you have low VRAM, use 40. I'll keep it here only. You can just attach it. Okay, so here's the video. So this looks pretty good, very good. I'm not gonna say it looks 100% like speed, but at least 90%, which is very good because as you saw, this is the preview model and not the full-fledged model. And I've also increased it to 720p, okay? So this one came out to be pretty decent. So I'll give the workflow in the description, like always, but as you guys know, my Patreon just got banned. So I'll be giving the workflow in the Buy Me A Coffee website, okay? We're gonna take that same walking girl image, video, sorry. And we're gonna use Vegeta. So here it is. So this one didn't come out very good. I think because of the side angle or something like that. So we'll choose this image and use this Star Wars character, okay? And over here, I've written the man is holding the lightsaber in his hand and is moving, okay? If you don't write the prompt, that is also okay. So here it is. So this looks good, but obviously because of the movement of the video, the lightsaber got distorted and is very weird. So I'm using 20 block swap, as I told you before. So I'll write a note over here so you guys can follow for low VRAM use, this block swap, or just delete this. So, okay guys, let's end this video right over here. If you guys are liking these type of content, then please do like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.